Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be testing out alcohol markers and trying to achieve a rust effect. So I already have a scrap piece of Bristol board here that I'm using that you can see I used in a video last week to test out some of the greys. And I also have my shoulder pad of armor that I painted or colored, drew, whatever you want to call it, in alcohol markers again. This was a video a week or two back so if you are interested in watching me draw this, then I'll put a link on the screen and in the description box below, so definitely check that out. So to get started, we need some relevant colours. I went with some oranges and browns. To be completely honest, I picked four markers off my shelf that were pretty much next to each other. It was a nice colour range. They coincidentally happened to be the four that I just stuck with and used anyway. So I'm just putting a photo up on screen now so that you can see which colours I'm using. These are Spectrum Noir markers, but I'm using an OR1, an OR2, a TN6 and a TN9. So you can see with the random selection of colours that I used, there is a slightly darker brown, there's a pale sort of orangey yellow, a regular orange and more of a regular brown. Anyway, what I'm doing here is just drawing onto a sponge with the marker and just pressing it onto my test piece because I hadn't actually tried this ever at this point. So this video was more of an experiment than anything else, but I thought it turned out pretty cool. I'll let you judge that for yourselves at the end though. So I was playing around by using the chisel tip and playing around with the bullet nib, drawing little dots on the sponge to see if that made any difference. It's really just to see what different effects can be achieved. The sponge that I have here is actually just one of those that you use for uh, for washing pots with. I would not advise using it for your pots again after trying this. It's actually just the end of one that I cut off. I, I even tried just colouring onto the paper and then rubbing that onto the sponge. Uh, that didn't work at all. But hey, you don't know till you try it. So all I am really doing is colouring onto the sponge with the markers and then pressing it onto the page. Sometimes I'm twisting it a little bit, sometimes I'm scraping it along the paper. So I'm just trying different effects really. The very first time you press it on, after first applying the ink, a lot more does come off. So when it comes to actually applying this to the finished illustration, what you will notice me doing is dabbing a little bit off on my scrap page once or twice before then applying it to the illustration. This was just so that too much didn't come off and potentially just ruin the piece. So I should probably point out as well, I was quite happy with the illustration last week. It definitely wasn't intended to be rusty. That's why I've painted it in such a, a shiny reflective effect. It doesn't look like old armor, but I wanted to just see if I could get that impression just by adding rust. So I started with one of the lighter colors and then I applied a little bit of the darker one. And I'm trying it on different parts of the sponge. I'm actually using the thinner side of it because as mentioned I actually just cut this strip from a sponge. This made it easier to control so I'm just dabbing it on and twisting it a little bit very lightly but the one regret I would probably say I had is because I was using the end it did have a very repetitive look to where I'd pressed it you could almost tell the way I'd done it but if I was going to do this again yeah I would probably use a larger sponge cover a larger area at once it might be hard to get as much precision with it and it might look a little bit messier but when you're applying rust to armor that's probably quite a good thing. Some other things that I tried as well as just adding one color to the sponge and blotching it onto the illustration is that I actually put like a darker brown for example and an orange, lighter orange, uh, maybe even another color all onto the sponge to start with I wasn't sure if they would maybe mix a little bit or how it would react. It's only subtle, but um, then when you press it on, you've obviously got a slight mix of all however many colors you used. So that gives a pretty cool effect. And I am blotching it for the most part of it and giving it a little bit of a twist, but I think when there wasn't as much left on the sponge, I actually scraped it along the paper a little bit. I only did that when there wasn't much left on it though, because I didn't want to ruin it and I didn't want it to be obvious that there was just lines across it. So that's it really, I just kept repeating this until I was happy. I could have kept going probably a lot more with it, but I didn't know if it was starting to look silly with the amount of rust I was putting on it, um, especially considering I wasn't going to put rust on it at first anyway. So 
I don't know whether it looked right or not. I, I thought it was pretty cool, but it didn't necessarily need it. And I really just keep repeating that until I'm happy. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give this a go though, play around using different colours and different materials to put the markers on to see what sort of effects you can achieve. This is the first time I've really tried anything different with them and it didn't take long, it wasn't messy and yeah it was pretty cool. As mentioned earlier, if you haven't already make sure you check out the video from the other week. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and as always make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.